Hello again, it's Vicky with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I am in the new Corel Draw X6, version X6, which is new to the market. Got some real new features in it, and I want to share with you what I know about it. And uh, there's lots of new tools, lots of new um, dockers and trays and menus that you can learn about. And I'm going to create a video today about uh, the Hint Docker. It's an enhanced docker. Uh, which I think comes in handy for you beginners including myself uh, when you click on a tool that you're not so sure about or any tool that you, you click to use over here in your toolbar once you click that tool um, it brings you to several menus over in your hints docker um, that's located to the right. Your dockers as always uh, they they bar themselves over to the right over here near your color palettes so they're always there uh, you can choose to close them or minimize them based on um, the area of screen that you need so let's show you how first of all to get to the hints docker uh, we've always had the hints docker but this is an enhanced version and it includes a lot of new stuff so um, I'm going to touch on it again. My videos are pretty basic. Just want to go over the basic information, show you how to get to it, show you what's there, so that you can get in there and utilize it, and learn from it, and increase your business opportunities with it. So again, um, let's get started. Click on Windows to get to a Docker. Left click on Dockers and then come down and choose which docker you want. We're looking for the hints. So we'd click hints to select it. I've already got a check mark by it so it's selected. Um, if you don't see the check mark you want to include it. So mine's already open but that's how you get to it. I'm going to click off. Now what I have here when it comes up is just some basic uh, information guidelines and instructions that you can choose from the menu without having selected anything yet in your toolbar but the way this works is that you select something from your toolbar and once you do the hints docker will change depending on what tool you've selected for instance uh, we have the new twirl tool which I also have a video on um, this is new in Corel X6 so if we want to learn about it once we click the tool, notice how the hints docker changes so that you can go to the videos and the topics within that uh, that are there for you to utilize and learn about that are included with that tool. Um, so if I hold down or hover over my twirl uh, tool, you see a menu opens up to the right. I can choose some of the other um, tools from within this tool this actual toolbar and I can change it so if I click smudge bar then this changes over here as well so that I can go to the videos and topics to learn about the tool and find more ways by clicking here and taking me to the web page where I can see more detailed information about that tool uh, videos come in handy as you know here at Condi we we spend a lot of time with videos because you know, they're a very good learning tool. So hopefully you'll take advantage of this hints bar. And again, you use it just by simply clicking on any toolbar from your left and it changes what information you see or can utilize to your to your favor or your advantage. Again, my name is Vicki with Condi Systems and I hope this video has helped. Thank you for your time.